Even though they got really, they really tough opponents, you see them playing with a with a resistance and keep calm and play on, which is very impressive. Uh, could we have a view on the on the outside pool area, please, uh, to see what happened? People are applauding. It looks like the player got up and the referees are in the water. We will start real fast because we have a tight check schedule uh, in this uh, here in this um, Champions Cup, 30th Champions Cup. And let's see the game uh, starting here. Boston from the U.S., uh, Boston Narwhals from the U.S. in white and uh, Budweiser in blue. Thank you, uh, Daniel. Uh, we tried to do an awesome job and we love what we're doing here. Here we go. Game starts. So I don't have the list for Budweiser, but I have the list from the Boston. So <coughs> let's see if it's accurate and we can see. So, uh, like uh, I said, uh, Esteban, I can try, but I don't have uh, <coughs> from all of the games, but I can do that. I can start doing that. I can read all the participants and then uh, the referees before the games. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's, that's a lot uh, to say, but uh, <laughs> let's see if we have the time. Okay, Boston is here attacking uh, the Batwise basket, and uh, they are already very much assembled around the basket, but tackled away to the surface. Three uh, Budweiser player tried to rip the uh, ball uh, out oh. of the uh, Narwhal hands, and we're on the surface as far as we can see here. We cannot switch the cameras to the surface uh, by our own, but it looks like there's a cluster on the surface. Ball falls down back in the hands of uh, Boston of the US players, and they are again in attack mode and again tackle away to the surface. Uh, the, the player tried to throw the ball fr above the goalkeeper to the close side, but the ball was deflected by a Budweiser player. And now Budweiser is in the ball possession and going in for the basket of uh, the US for the first time in this first half here. And let's yeah. see I mean what uh, Budweiser can do on the uh, US basket. Yes, I mean, the checks are hard cookies. I mean, they are... Hard uh, cookies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that means hard cookies are old cookies. Do you do no, you no, imply no, no, that? No, no, no. Hard cookies means difficult. Uh, difficult, difficult to, to eat, chew. Uh, to <laughs> chew, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> very nice. So, Budweiser uh, comes uh, here from the close side, trying to move in from the close side into the defense of Boston. He was there. Ha! That was an easy goal. PT very well was played. The goalkeeper went up. There was a huge gap. And uh, the Budweiser player was fast in time, nice timing, just to he put the ball without resistance into the basket of the Boston Narwhals. And there was a mistake in the exchange and in the defense, but this happens if you're under pressure. And Budweiser is just uh, too experienced here to, to let this chance pass by and not to score. And, and you forgot to sing the goal. This was a goal from Budweiser. Okay, no, we don't want you to sing anymore. I don't want him to sing anymore. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the Czech team is already an attack. Ooh, oh, well, they just that was very close and very, oh, very beautifully and, and deflected by a, by the first attack. The, f the ball was almost in the in the basket, but it was deflected by a Boston player out of the basket. But the second wave went in. Actually, I think it was the the <coughs> ring. And Do you think uh, they hit the ring? Yeah, it I looked didn't like see it right. But. Uh, uh, it, I l it looked like it gripped to the head a little bit there, I mean, I thought, but well, anyway... Um yeah, I agree with Ale Jomax, uh, Ale Jomax, uh, the uh, rugby in the US is growing fast, we saw that Daniel Naujox, a player who played in, uh, in Berlin, is playing uh, with the Hammerhead, and uh, another player from us was in America, and we see a lot of American rugby growing, 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 that's very nice. Thank you very much, America, for making this uh, sport great in the US. And uh, Budweiser again in the attack, and it's a 2-0 a lead for Budweiser here in the first half of the game. Budweiser against the Worlds from the US. Call from the referee, holding without ball, free throw against Budweiser. Yep. So, so far the Czech team uh, are dominating. And as you said, they're unimpressed by anything. Yes. They are tough cookies. Yes. Like yeah, yeah. I like it. It was the same I at the World Championship yeah. of uh, of juniors. We had a Czech team there with uh, really young players and nine players, 
and uh, they really got beaten through the pool but they were unimpressed they didn't break it was amazing to see these young players from the Czech Republic uh, getting one goal after the other and they didn't stop they defended 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 yeah. without goal they even lost 40-0 and uh, again they were all between 15 and 16 years old. So and this is a chance young. for yep. the Nawals, they are close at the Budweiser basket, there was a player position, had his arm under the head of the uh, Budweiser player, but now we have a call. What? There was a goal? No, 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 it was called, there was a call from the referee okay. before, so it was no goal. Is it okay the the sound of the pool guys or is it too loud or this is uh, is it just enough for you to follow and then you can hear as well with without la uh, much interference is it a penalty no free throw let's see I uh, guess it's a free throw we can't see timeout time out. Time uh, out I guess it's a timeout I haven't seen it it's probably for bad boys Okay, thank you, Rolexi Pinson. <laughs> so we have uh, Anne Sophie uh, in the hall uh, in front of the um, commentator cabin, and maybe we can persuade <laughs> her to talk a little bit. We have a couple of half as husband and wife uh, playing together in um, Boston. Thank you, Esteban. That's cool. So we have uh, Anne Sophie coming in, and uh, let's see. Anne Sophie, you want to talk a little bit? There is Budweiser playing against uh, Boston Nawals. <laughs> ah, she's uh, tied. Uh, tie. Here we have uh, Anne Sophie. You're alive. <laughs> yeah, they have very. How many games do you have today? Have one. one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, some teams have two or three, and some others have one. Yeah. Okay. Get uh, against Marcos. Okay, so Marcos is going to be playing against Anne Sophie later today. <laughs> so, thank, thank you. you. See you later, Anne Sophie. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank All you. right, so here we are. Back in the game. Uh, it's after the timeout. We didn't see who took it, if it was Bob. And here it comes Boston. Now they go really tough into the defense of. Uh, but wise, and it's uh, it's amazing how they tr uh, how they succeeded in breaking up the defense of Budweiser and to be able to push on the goalkeeper. But they didn't score yet, and uh, Budweiser is leading 2-0, and it's a free throw against Boston Nawals here in the in the second half of the first half of the tenth game of the Champions Cup 2018 here in Berlin. Okay, free throw. This is a really fast and a really tough game. You can see both teams uh, don't um, give presents to each other. They don't really give presents to no, each they other. They, really they are not there for a, pr a birthday party. <laughs> they really want to get to the cake by themselves and own it. All right. It looks like we are hungry. We're talking about cookies and cakes. Okay, let's back on the game. Here we have Boston trying to. Uh, get out there towards the area of uh, bad boys, but didn't happen. Still, the Czechs are in position of the ball and are coming or trying to come towards the basket, but they're being defended uh, pretty well by the attackers of the Boston team. Now we have one Czech player there in between the goalie and on top of the defender, or trying to block him, but the ball took too long to arrive, so he's just leaving. And we have the checks in the corner trying to regroup and start the attack but the attackers uh, of Boston are doing it quite difficult for them to uh, start uh, the waves of attack now we have they just arrived but lost the ball and they're trying to leave and something happened F holding without ball free throw against Boston and it's very nice, the signals from the referees are very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, they, it looks like they talked about it to, to make these uh, calls very clear for us to see them and give it to you, holding without ball. And uh, Lorena, from my opinion, uh, the first show here on the Champions Cup of the Nair World is impressive. They do a very good job against a very experienced team yep. uh, from Budweiser to hold against them, even though they are lacking behind two goals. Um, I see them very much doing a good game and defending off what uh, Budweiser is throwing against their basket. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, definitely. I mean, we have always have a history of very strong Czech teams coming. 
and uh, they are really experienced have a league as well I don't know I mean the, the league in the US is growing but they're still quite recent if we compare with the one in the Czech Republic so it's amazing so the really experience the difference of the experience between the, the uh, Boston Awards team and the Budweiser team is a huge gap in between the experience but uh, this doesn't stop uh, the Boston players from uh, doing a very good game and uh, I have to say um, they are unimpressed by the game of Budweiser and uh, Budweiser have a solid lead here in the first half in this one minute and uh, 15 seconds left but it's a good fast game and uh, those two teams are really on the same height of uh, playing of uh, physical playing they put in here free throw against but wise less than a minute left here in the first half and Boston is trying to break uh, through the forechecking defense and they made a very good job and are already on the basket of but wise this is a good chance for Boston Awards they are in in a lot of Oh, we were just uh, yelled at by the paramedics and uh Sorry, we had a little situation here <laughs> People asking us uh, thing in the things uh, we didn't know in a quite aggressive way so um, Budweiser ball possession eight seconds left last attack here from Budweiser uh, in the first half with a solid lead to zero and end of the first half and uh, Lorena is eating a tough cookie so she cannot talk and I'm in control of ah, okay uh, Rolexi Prince Princeton just told us Boston Awards is the oldest club active club in the US uh, didn't know that um, I actually don't know that much about the history uh, of uh, uh, American rugby, uh, American underwater rugby. So Boston, uh, the oldest team, so they are the most experienced. Um, how, how old is the team, uh, Rolexi? Can you tell us uh, when they were founded so we can uh, know how much experience the players have? Uh, even though not all of the players uh, probably are from the founding club, from the founding moment. But nevertheless, that's a difference. Uh, that makes a difference if they are an, an, an experienced club here. I'm back. I need some sugar for my brain. I almost stopped working. <laughs> that's dangerous <laughs> because then you take control. Okay, 2 0 for the Czech team. And Boston is putting up quite a, a good fight, but it's uh, not really very easy to get to the Czech uh, area, no, even, though, even though chances. they manage. Uh, you know what? What we're waiting. Maybe yes. we can read. Let I don't me know. one second. <laughs> the team list, the rooster the list. The team list, the rooster, exactly. From Cheske with the Chovis. Oh no, what is going to be complicated? You want me to speak? Yeah, Czech? you, you I'm going can't to say, no, the just yeah, the first well. name. The first name, okay? Number five, Jan. Number 11, Yaroslav. Number 13, Martin. Number 15, Pavel. Number 21, Philip. 23, Thomas. 31, Matt. That was, sorry, 23 is Thomas V. Miss Leakey. Then 44 is Thomas Rees. Then 47, Yakub, 55, Alex, 58, Miroslav, 59, Yakub, Philistine, and 65, his Josef is, his Meko. Is Cuba. And you laughing, your Czech people are laughing at me right now, but I'm good. Now, the Boston, we have two is Tomas Galliano, cuatro, Diana, five, Lori, what I'm speaking Spanish, God, six, Timmy, eight, Seed, ten, Tommy, thirteen, Philip. 15 Christian, 17 Joseph, uh, 19 Mateo, 20 Kim, 22 Andreas, 30 Jonathan, Yon Jonathan, that was a German pronunciation, sorry, 31 Mike, and 99 jo uh, John, yes, okay. Thank I'm you very much, Lorena, for um, <laughs> telling us the name. How was my check, Nina? Thank you. <laughs> huh, you are great, Lorena. <laughs> I, I, I agree, Nina, she is great. Okay, we are back in the game. Uh, hopefully, we get an underwater picture uh, soon. Can we get a view in the pool, please? The game is already running. Can we have 
underwater. Can we switch, please? Guys, we're not saying anything in the pool. Okay, I have to go over there a second. All right, so we, it looks like uh, they are, the Czech are attacking there on the half of the Boston. We can see Picot, Sidley, Modin, all sitting there in the bank, as you see. And there it looks like at the cluster on the right hand side. Okay, now we have underwater cameras on, sorry for that. And we have a clusters on the right hand side, and uh, it's two against two or three against two. Blue, white is really that the tie uh, knot of people there. And let's see, they're being pushed. That's you know, the Mac, <laughs> the, the Boston uh, player was pushing the pull towards now. We are above the check uh, basket, so that was a good move. I mean, that's a very tactical. Yeah, and that's um, dangerous because if a ball drops down, you're actually very fast uh, right above uh, the other basket. We still have a cluster on the surface, and there are two Czech players and two Boston Network players uh, fighting, and there is one player from each team waiting under this cluster, still fighting on the surface. It's very exhausting to fight on the surface in these clusters, and uh, they are not intentional as uh, you might think. You you really don't want to see a cluster on the surface in underwater rugby because the, the best game is when the ball yeah. is free and we are playing exactly. fast and we have fast passes. These uh, surface uh, clusters are exhausting for the players and not nice to see and they don't bring any advantage to any of the teams. Yeah, uh, actually yesterday in the academy we were discussing, Manuel, the chief referee, uh, was bringing up that how to deal as a referee or as a rule with the clusters if they as referee could stop it because they completely slow down the uh, flow of the game and it's not really fun to watch so there was a bit of a discussion <laughs> there so um, here goes yeah, Boston yeah the, Boston the, goes the tactic of, of, of using a cluster sometimes. yeah continue it's, it's uh, now Boston does a lot of pressure on the defense of Budweiser but Budweiser does a good job being in between and stealing away the ball from the Boston attackers and trying to break out but attacked immediately in the vicinity of the uh, of the goal but now Budweiser broke free is uh, stopped in the middle of the pool by the forward checking of Boston both teams are really now on the same level oh. Um, oh, oh, the game blame this is a fast attack from uh, Budweiser player coming in with the ball from the close side and uh, passed over to the open side but already two Boston players stopped the player the ball carrier and the second wow. wave of uh, Budweiser comes in, but the goalie uh, tackles the ball, is holding the ball and goes to the surface. Amazing. Apparently, Boston is the opposite of Marcos. They have 90% senior players now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pablo. And thank oh, you, Rolando. That was close. Oh. That the ball was almost in the basket, but uh, pulled out or stopped uh, before it could be called a goal. Very nice playing. Amazing game by both teams here. And now Boston goes back in the attack oh, great counter attack now they're doing double pass it's a one-on-one on one situation one on, one. on the Budweiser it. goal maybe he can pass it down at the ball Whoa, oh, that, that was, was close and the ball is dropping down and again Hi. dropping down empty basket that Boy. was a great chance for Whoa, Boston to score <laughs> here almost <laughs> they, they, there were so many situations where you just thought they just had to put in but now we see Boston uh, Budweiser going in on the counter attack, but it was one player from from uh, Budweiser going on counter attack against two Boston was players. Really excited! I was happy wow, you this game because I was wow and I and wow. Yeah, <laughs> this game is really burning here. Fast, the, the water yeah. is boiling, and both teams are not holding back anymore. It's a fair game. It's a physical game, but it's a very fast, very powerful game and if one of the teams make a mistake you can see this here they will score and both teams now it's very it's much able to score it's like Boston is more awake and reactive and playing much much faster than at the beginning I think they didn't expect they didn't know what to expect uh, from the check and they were got by surprise twice kind of but now they're much better in control of the game yes. even though the checks are still more in domination uh, Boston is much more into the game than before right yeah, yeah. it's a great game to watch this is really it is not the style of the Colombians. It's not like it's more physical. Yeah. The, the game we see from both uh, teams, more like a close quarter fights. 
But nevertheless, it's very interesting how fast these teams switch from uh, defense into attack and how fast the game changes. Like we see here, Boston got the ball, tries to break through, for checking immediately by Budweiser in the middle of the pool. But nevertheless, ah, here we see uh, uh, Budweiser recover the ball. It is going back in attack mode. Very, very cool game to see. And we have a little bit less than five minutes left in the second half. And Budweiser is leading 2-0, but didn't score in the second half yet. And Boston is a good job in pushing hard, pressing hard on the Budweiser basket. Um, Castoras won 6-0 against uh, Call from Marcos. the referee, free throw against uh, Boston. I didn't see what happened, but there was another close call. A Boston player stole the basket away from Budweiser. Yeah, uh, Rox, um, Rolexi was telling you the bit of the, sto the history yeah. of... They the started, the Boston club started uh, playing or being founded as a diver club in 1975. And they used to play uh, hockey and changed to underwater rugby. But um, Rolex is not sure when this that happened, um, but probably in the 90s. So they are quite uh, have some uh, uh, 28, 30 years of experience uh, in hockey and rugby. And this is quite something. Uh, I totally agree. This is uh, um, surely in the league of uh, the Budweiser players with their experience playing on the water rugby. Depends how uh, much experience the players in the pool now have, but uh, as uh, said in the live chat, they um, are not uh, a, a, a youth team, so I guess they have a lot of experience, and it shows they are quite uh, physical, able to deal with the Czech players. Yep. Amazing game from both teams, and uh, I think if you look at the second half, Budweiser is quite happy to lead already 2-0. Look at this player, it's number uh, 80, 80 uh, 31. He's uh, Pico. Yeah, yeah, I know him from Facebook. It's funny to see. Uh, ah, there was a nice foot checking, nice attack. But Budweiser getting control of the ball after the game started. And we are already at the basket of Budweiser. There's no goalkeeper on the basket and the ball. Oh, that was close and they're fighting. That's uh, what happened. Call from the referee Only against Boston. Only without ball, it looked like a minute. Yeah. Nice attack from Boston, very uh, decisive.